Hello everyone, I'm doing quite well. So this right here is a periodical pickups video. I don't usually do these too often. These are pickups I grabbed over time. And these were, one of these was a gift. Another one was a freebie because of a technical shipping pickup, really. And I ended up lucking out, but at what cost, I think. But I'll get into that in a minute. First thing I picked up here, which is ironically the camera I'm currently talking to you now on, and this is the main camera I use for streaming. My old camera here, the 9C, the C920 rather, right here, which you can see it's a really good cam. However, however, it does have some issues of focusing now. Whenever I put this on here, which I use this for my source of light, it will auto defocus like it will go blurry and i have to go through all kinds of craziness just to get it to work this camera i've looked it up it's pretty much the same as this one and it's a lot cheaper it doesn't deal with too much issue with um issues of it def like the focus going crazy like it can't hit like the c920 can't handle light or bright lights so it's like if you have this thing burning way too strong it will flip out on you so it's like, I can see here now I'm like going, hold on, the hell am I doing? There we go. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. But yeah, the camera I got in question here is the Ava Media live streamer cam 313. Again, it's a really decent little camera showing on this one because it looks a lot better on here at least on this side which is ironic right but yeah that's the camera right here very cheap again there's 4k cameras as 1080 billion cameras or whatever uh, for me i don't need a crazy expensive insane camera like that no one needs to see this this ugly mug of all the pores and this beta male looking head no, they don't need to see all that stuff in 4k they 1080p is fine but that's it is what it is. Next one here is Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume One, which I gotta show you. You can see what I'm talking about though with the uh, light here. Like it gets way too intense, so this camera does well without that light. But that is right there, the game in question, the volume. One now, this was developed by Nighthawk, published by Zen Studios. An insane amount of uh, pinball tables on here. They have Iron Man, the Hulk, uh, Spider Man, they have Blade on here, um, Venom, Thor, Captain America, uh, Doctor Strange. I, I was missing a couple of tables from this collection. I actually have a lot of them on the PlayStation 4. But I didn't have every single one of them. I think I was missing Hulk and a few others. I think I have to relook again, but it doesn't really matter necessarily because I got this, so you know it solves that problem anyway. Uh, but yeah, came pre-owned, very cheap. That's the only reason why I grabbed this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have went near it. But pinball games usually digitally are pretty fun, so I figured why not. And I have a fandom for pinball games anyway, so it just works out. Uh, the next game here in the collection is IHRA. I gotta look at this freaking thing every single time. Motorsports, drag racing, because if I don't, my brain will just mutter something and it has makes no coherent sense, like majority of the time. But I try to make as much sense as I can within reason. So that right there was published out by Bethesda, which I was surprised at the time and even now that they even did a racing game. I, I'm just used to their CRPGs or their first-person dungeon crawlers or everything else in between. It just blows my skull, right? But yeah, publish this out. It's actually a half-decent drag racing game. I'm not great into simulation games at all, but this one is not too bad. It's actually decent. Um, certainly, when, again, it's like not much to say about racing games because racing games are racing games. So people can give you an in-depth you know, 40-page essay on that, but for me, I'm just like, hey, it's an RA game. Because, again, I'm more into arcade racing games anyway. Like, I'm not, you know I mean? I'm not someone who's great at racing or driving cars and games. I'm, I'm going to tell you that forefront. I'm just bumping into things to get to where I need to be. I don't give a damn about direction and coordination. Uh, but, yeah, that right there is the game in a nutshell. Relatively cheap. Let's 
kind of an oddity to see. Again, I'm not used to seeing Bethesda. I mean, Bethesda did several other types of games too, which is my brain always forgets this key fact that they were behind the hood behind more stuff than just that back in the day. And I just it escaped my memory and just, even though it's commonly as information as it can be, I'm just like, oh, no shit. <laughs> That's pretty much what I said every time. I'm like, oh yeah, they did. You know, can't remember. So the next one here is actually something I got as a gift from a great friend of mine named Alex. Uh, he was getting himself a copy of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. He was getting himself a collector's edition. I think it was like the, the action figure one. He offered me that one, but I was like, no, 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 no. He is, he is so sweet to me and my girlfriend. He really is. But um, no, he offered it. I was at first going, he does so much for us. I felt really bad, but then at the same time, it's like if someone offers you a gift, it's sort of like it's slapping them in the face if you say no. So I was like, well, okay. And I tried to find something that was reasonable, right? Because, I mean, I, I love Blood Dragon, but at the same time, I wanted to keep it reasonable. So, um, and plus, this looked cool enough. So I was like, all right, I'll go with that. Uh, so yeah, I came with this. It comes with mostly pamphlets and man the manual, the pamphlet, which is a code for the game itself and a very cool double-sided poster. I'm not going to try to crack this open, but you can kind of... Does it show in the back? No. It shows the game, which is, this is all you're getting. <laughs> and I should be showing to you on this side here. It's better. So, yeah. Like, it comes in this really cool big box here. It has limited run on the side. Um, not quite as bells and whistles-ish as you would hope, but it's not a bad setup here nonetheless. So if you are a vivid collector of PC games... And I kept the plastic on as best I could while uh, cracking it open and look inside. Um, so yeah, as you can see right there, basically looks just like that. Keep the, again, it protects as much as I can, at least. Uh, back as in, when I was a kid, I didn't quite do that when I cracked it. I should have done that as a kid, left plastic on, because it kind of preserves the cardboard. <laughs> Though I say that, this box right here, was, which is a uh, second hand item which this was a some person bought this out probably from one of those crates with uh or those uh warehouse crates with like secondhand peripherals or whatever and basically they bought this and they were like hey we're gonna buy this and we're gonna resell it for whatever to get our money back basically so this was a second life amazon item which i did not pay anything at all for this originally i was getting this for my girlfriend but she didn't quite need it so i was like well i guess I'm, i'll have to use it then but it's basically what you see on the box there it is a arctic arctis am i saying arctis one i'm not sure if i'm even saying it right but yeah this is supposedly for an xbox uh, headset but it really can be used for pc ps4 the switch it's a great pair of headphones. It's not 7.1, I don't believe. Let me see if let me read the specifications again. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's not no. It's not 7.1 at all. I mean, it's obviously it's a uh, three point because my headset over here, my Corsair, which I had to fix my Corsair, like the side of it's kind of snapped off. You usually see these on my head whenever I'm streaming or whatever, but uh, these right here, you can see they're, you know, they've had their the fair share here and they're very worn out. But these are a great pair of headphones. I love if I ever can afford these again, I would get these in a heartbeat. These are Corsair. They're like 7.1. And I love watching shows and movies and uh, listening to streams and stuff with those on. Those are just great headphones. These are really good too. Uh, I use these. Got to do this carefully, of course. Uh, I use this currently. I don't have the uh, headphones plugged in because I don't need them. But they're mostly plugged directly into my speakers, which is plugged into this monitor, which is plugged into the laptop. So I can monitor the sound and actually hear things for once. It's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, really good pair of headphones. Not bad. Like, for the price I paid for these, I, I lucked out. Because they're really good. They're not amazing. They're meant for console... I mean, console gaming 
has obviously evolved since the, pay, the caveman days since I played Xbox 360 or whatever for some of these uh, little squirts in the uh, carpet here. But uh, for me personally, like I be, just not used to it, I guess. I'm more used to listening to like clear sound, but not sharp sound. And that's pretty sharp sound. I'm just plugging this directly into a regular old speaker, like a pair of um, Logitech's here. But sounds really good. Like I'm playing games like First Ascendant and all that, and sounds great. Uh, especially when I'm streaming, it actually does sound really awesome. So I can actually hear the games, and if it's a raid going on, I can kind of hear my speak my headphones a bit, which I should probably make a habit of putting my headphones near my, pardon me, near my spot over here so I can actually hear shit or put something so I can actually you get the idea but yeah they are noise canceling so if you put those on you ain't gonna hear a damn thing like I was sitting there putting those on like I don't hear a damn thing so it's a really good pair of headphones helps you focus last item here I got last item here I got oh fuck it's heavy and I technically shouldn't have gotten it, but I did not pay anything for this. And when I contacted the company, they told me not worry about it. They'll just chalk it up as a loss. They'll eat it, basically. So I was like, okay. So basically, I got this. You can kind of see what I'm looking at here. But this is what they chalked as a loss, which I, my jaw hit the floor. So there's apparently like imprint damage on the... I can't tell where it is and where I can actually inspect this. And it also looks like it has a RV or infrared on the bottom, which is quite interesting. But this is one of those old school LED energy saving monitors, you know, from Samsung. And Samsung's usually have very pretty monitors. You can see very pretty looking monitor it's sleek piano black finish and i'm trying to be careful this thing is pretty beefy in terms of weight but if you shove your finger in that hole there but no. <laughs> and you i think you have to slide this up there you go. and then that's all your cable management and it's a very simple uh setup here it has uh vga and it has HDMI, and it has the uh, plug here, which I don't have the plug for this monitor. And that's what's holding me back from trying it out and seeing where the damage is. Um, so I was, get I was originally looking at this monitor, I added it to my cart, because I usually just do that anyway. And then I ended up saying, okay, I don't want it, so I went to go try to click it. It was on my phone. I go to click cancel it for somehow reason, they bought it. And so I'm like, no, no, no. And I go and I, I cancel the order. And I guess at the time, the store was having issues with shipments anyway, and I didn't know. And I canceled the order. I was like, no, no, please, if you could cancel that, I apologize. I did not mean to order the uh, this particular uh, monitor. And they went, oh, okay, no problem. They just refunded me money, which was awesome. And then... A couple days later, I get a notification saying this is shipping. Something was shipping to me. And I'm thinking in my head going, okay, what the fuck did I order? Didn't think anything of it. And then I see this booming box sitting here in front of my step. And I'm like, you know, so I'm like, oh, shit. So... <laughs> So I rush back and I contact him. I was like, um, uh, you kind of sent me the monitor and they're like, oh shit. Um, uh, don't worry about it. That's, we sent it to you. You don't have to send it to us back. Cause that would cost you an arm and leg. Just keep it. We'll chalk it up as a loss. Cause I'm assuming they have a deal with like FedEx or whatever, so it didn't cost them really. Because they pay so much, probably a month, they, they could ship out whatever, whenever, I guess, and it doesn't cost them really anything or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, this is the monitor. Really, 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 really cool. Um, Want to test it out because I don't have the. 
Because this is a unique power cord. I don't have this one. Like, it's kind of looks like a laptop one. And it's a very specific type or specific plug that goes into this. But I wanted to test it out and see what it's, you know, what the damages look on it and how serviceable it is. Because it's a nice monitor. Like, it is a very nice monitor. It's quite large, too. Like, it actually, to my other monitor, it's almost the same size. And it's kind of dusty at the moment. But, yeah, I mean, careful, I don't knock it over. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That is really it. That's all I got here for periodical pickups. Got very lucky with that monitor. I'm going to try to see if I can find a, uh, something to basically complement that monitor. And the size of the monitor, by the way, was 22 inches. So I have to double check. Uh, but yeah, that is all for now. Again, thank you all for watching and supporting my channel over the years. You all are amazing. And see you all next time.